Hello. <laughs> John B Close here. Close up. Some hey, of the band JJ members. here. <laughs> Leave me alone. That's um. Okay, so uh, so we're Flame, and uh, we're from Lake Forest, Illinois, and um, I'm Casey Hipple. I sing lead vocals, and I write our songs. I'm Jackson Lepkowski. I am at 17, and I'm the drummer. I'm Fiona Carroll. I am 17. I play bass guitar, I sing backups and keys. I am Frank, I am 17, and I play guitar. And we have another member who's not here today named John Penn. It's Frank's younger brother. He plays rhythm guitar, and he's good. And he's helped us write a couple songs as well, so thought I'd give him a shout out. He's I'm big on uh, Grunge rock from like the 90s, so like Pearl Jam, Nirvana, Alice in Chains, a lot of 70s stuff, uh, like Black Sabbath, Led Zeppelin, Crosby, Stills and Nash, Billy Joel, Elton John, The Allen Brothers. I like Metallica, Med Megadeth, and Korn and stuff, they're good. Maybe a little hair metal, you know? Rock, rap, alternative. I can listen to anything as long as I like it. <laughs> Um, I also, I have like a broad range of music that I like to listen to. I'm into a lot of grunge, like Soundgarden, Alice in Chains, and Stone Temple Pilots. Newer like indie stuff, like Wallows, and like old indie rock, Arctic Monkeys. Just like whatever's like pop and happening right now too. And I listen to a lot of metal, like Slipknot, Megadeth. I like to listen to the classic rock. The Allman Brothers, uh, Jimi Hendrix. Led Zeppelin, modern alternative rock, like Rival Sons, Black Keys, White Stripes. So we've got about like a whole album written that we're just waiting on, you know, the studio to open for us. We kind of mix up like uh, the grunge aspect of the 90s with classic rock, the lighter, almost like pop stuff by like Billy Joel for some songs, you know. My favorite's John B because he's got sick hair and uh, he's the protagonist, so he was uh, running the show, so I like that. My favorite is JJ, just because I relate to him a lot. And people have actually like compared us, not physically, but like our characters, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like we're alike, apparently. I like John B. I also like John B, he's a pretty cool guy. I bring the guitar playing to the band. And I also think that he brings a very unfiltered, honest view of anything we try or cover or write. So it He's kinda, not afraid to hold back his opinion. At all. So it's very helpful at some times. But it tends to hurt Jackson's feelings. Well, I don't know about hurt. <laughs> okay, yeah, it hurts. <laughs> but, yeah. All right. Um, I would say... Oh, you'd see oh, that? Let's I'd go. That. <laughs> I would say um, I'm the most experimental out of everyone. Like, always got the new idea. Yeah, I'm always like, like if something doesn't sound right, I'll say, like maybe we should try this here, and then Frank will say no, and then this we'll try sucks. it anyway. It'll and be then like we'll this sucks. Say sucks. We're doing. But, but every now and then, he's like, okay, this sounds good, and then the song is good. So I think that Fiona brings amazing harmonies in his band because. Uh, I really don't have an ear for harmonies as a singer, and um, she's really good at capitalizing on those and kind of bringing the music to life and uh, keeping us in time with that bass and those keys, you know, if you got anything to add. And also, she's got that, you know, she's the only girl in the band, so, you know, it's like, yes. it's a whole different energy. It was supposed to be an all-boy band, but then um, they had a couple issues with the previous bassist, so... <laughs> Wasn't their first choice, but yeah, they love me now. Yay! Yeah, uh, <laughs> <do> we? <laughs> it's all Jackson. wrong. I feel all right. Come here, come here, come here. Frank will never <laughs> do that. I don't know what I really bring to the band other than like the lyrics, I guess, and like you get us all our gigs. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm really kind of. I'm like. 
I guess the manager, yeah, I think I bring some energy that we need, you know, for all of our songs. Lyrically, I think that I get like, I have kind of a decent eye for like observing my surroundings. So I feel like I'm good at like putting it into words, so. I started playing my instrument because the guitar looked really cool and my uncle played guitar. So I saw him play a bunch and kind of made me want to play. And all my musical tastes at the time reflected uh, guitar playing. I am a School of Rock student, same with Jackson. And we had, I, I had a really good singing teacher when I was younger and she tried to get me to play all these Shout different out, instruments. Miss Heather. Same, no. same, same teacher. <laughs> no, different no, teacher no. named Stephanie. Bro, <laughs> I'm so sad. But got me to play like the tuba and a bunch of. It was really interesting. But um, she got me into playing bass, and then I got like called back for audition for like School of Rock on Broadway, and they called me out to New York for bass playing as one of like the characters in the show. But I ended up being cut at the very end. I have two cousins who play the drums, and I have two uncles who play the drums. And overall, my family has like a lot of musical background. And I just thought, you know, the drums just always intrigued me. So I started doing them when I was really young. And I've done School of Rock, I've done percussion in school, and now I am in a band making music with my drum experience. I started singing because uh, my mom like forced me to try out for Oliver when I was like in fourth grade. I liked singing Consider Yourself, so I was like, okay, this is fun. And uh, then I tried doing it in like a county fair, and I got like third, so I was kind of hyped, so I decided to stick with it. And I sang like Billy Joel for like three years, and then I decided to try rock, and I really, really liked it. And then uh, my singing teacher got me into like Pearl Jam, someone else got me into The Who. I love when we like just started playing together in like Jackson's basement. Uh, I don't know, it was just so like, just raw. We didn't do School of Rock and we all just kind of put together ourselves and I was like really proud of it. Talent show this year was really fun and I feel like we really connected, you know, with all the other musicians there and with each other. Writing originals too, I think that's been like a really fun experience. I don't really know what we would get out of it until we started. And then now I've like really had great appreciation for it and all of our like skill as artists. I have two favorite band moments. The first one is after our first show, someone threw a piece of pizza at Frank and it hit him. <laughs> Not a fan of it. I'm a fan of it. And then my second favorite is when we made our second song that is released, Numb Reality. We oh, made that yeah. and I remember we listened to it like once we completely finished it, we listened to it all, and we were just like mind blown with how, like, wow, we yeah. made that. Yeah. It sounds really good, so. It's not really like a favorite band moment, but I just have like enjoyed getting closer with all the band members, especially after like being closer to them when I was like younger and then like reconnecting because I've known Casey and Frank since like preschool. Yeah, yes. Yeah, and then True. Jackson I've known for a while, but then we had a falling out, and then we got closer again because of this. Yeah. So, Yay! My favorite band <laughs> moment is, uh, it was at the start of like, uh, the quarantine stuff, or, so we moved practicing into our garage, and uh, one day we were recording an original song, this old man that didn't live near us, he lived like four blocks away, walked up our driveway, and was yelling at us to turn down our music. And then my dog came up and almost attacked him. He was like attacked him with my dog to like not so he wouldn't attack him because he's a big uh, German Shepherd. And then after that guy came, my dad came home and was like, I could hear you guys from the beach. And the, the beach is like a mile away from my house. So I thought that was really funny. Thank you for watching. We are Flame and um, we hope you like us and consider us for this uh, role you got here. It's an amazing opportunity and it would help us out a lot. So please consider us. <laughs> Make it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs>